graders and 10th graders that have already stopped by to see me about course scheduling for next year. If you have yet to do that, um, please put your course selections in by the end of this coming next, this next week and print that and stop by so that you can share that with me. If you're in the 8th grade, I'll be coming to visit you during study hall soon. We'll talk about course selections for you in, in the ninth grade. If you are a junior rising to senior, please make sure that you check in with Dr. Radcliffe next week. And if anybody has any questions about classes, make sure you check in with the individual teachers or check in with your deans. If you're having any issues with uh, logging into academic records, you can check in with the front office or see Ms. Godoin, our registrar. And if anybody wants to actually just sit down and log into academic records together, I'm happy, happy to do that with you and walk you through the steps. Thanks. <coughs> Uh, I'm the AP coordinator, and the following uh, people did not come to the mandatory pre-registration meeting this morning. So you all have to come Monday at lunch for the people who, uh, Ms. Godoyne is going to read out your names. You have to come Monday at lunch for the makeup. Room four. Room four. Okay. Alex Harvey, Eric Henwood, Matt Lindley, Alex O, Aaron Chi, Julian Brown, Harry Choi, Garrett Fry, Hannah Ager. Lee, Drake Wilson, Augustan. See you Monday, lunch, room four. <laughs> so the sign-up sheet for the, inter the Mixer International Marathon, it's on the wall by room nine. There's nine people on it, we need 25. So if you would please check your schedule and see if you can help us, it's Sunday, May 1st. I have permission slips, so I'll be standing outside the chapel when you exit your school. Did you want to say something more about that, Garrett? Okay. Um, it's a lot of fun. The um, You get up really early, you work really hard, there's thousands of runners coming by, and you hand them cups of water and Gatorade, and it's really a good group effort, and um, just a lot of fun. The other thing, um, at lunch today, the students who made uh, little hats for the hospital for Natividad, we're going to be um, putting labels on them in the quad, and everybody's welcome to come and help us with that. If we could get it done really quickly, if there are other people who would like to pitch in, but I want you to know that's what's happening in the quad, in the commons with those hats. Thanks. We're going to be sending an email today to 8th through 11th graders asking for some input on our communications material, the admission material that you looked at when you were looking at the school. When you get that email, please take a minute, it shouldn't take you very long, 10 quick questions if you would give us your input. We're also looking for people who are interested in participating in a communication survey, um, sort of a working group that will just take about an hour in a week or so. So please take a look at that and give us your response. We'd like to have your feedback. Thanks. So I just wanted to make an announcement. First, I think it's wonderful the little uh, fundraisers that have been going on for um, uh, earthquake and tsunami relief uh, for Japan. Uh, it's still going on. The radiation is, you know, we're still dealing with that. And uh, we had a jazz jam, you know, for uh, to raise money, and it you know, raised quite a bit of money, so it was great. And now this next one, I wanted to announce uh, for all the students because. This was uh, college students that decided to get together and also do a fundraiser. It's called Hopes for Change. It's going to be this Saturday uh, at the Monterey Peninsula Buddhist Temple from 6 to 10. And uh, all the money is going to go directly to the Sendai area. So there's a connection over there. It's going to go directly to the people who were involved in the earthquake. Um, also, at different levels, like uh, we're also going to have a lot of origami there to pull cranes. So also younger kids, our dorm school is going to be there. My daughter, she made all these rocks and painted these rocks and things uh, to be sold there. So if you could try to come, that would be great. So the costumes they're putting on, you know, it's a show and they're doing dancing and you know, things like that, the hip hop dancing and things. So it might be something you're interested in, and if you're thinking of a way to contribute further to the Japan Earthquake Tsunami Relief, this would be great. So this Saturday, 6 to 10. Happy Earth Day, everybody. Happy Earth Day.
So how have you been? How have you all been enjoying the uh, sophomore speeches? I'm very proud of the, my, the sophomores who've already uh, given their speeches here at break. Unfortunately, scheduling dictated that we can't have everyone give their speech during break. So we have dedicated a sophomore speech day during lunch. And what we're going to do is we're going to congregate on that, you know that area by the science building where there are these like places where you can sit, where these, these steps? We're all going to gather there and bring our lunches and the sophomores are going to, who couldn't give their speech here, are going to give their speeches there. And it should be a lot of fun. So that's uh, next Friday, a week from tomorrow, the 29th. Uh, the following Sunday, Big Sur Marathon, definitely volunteer because we're going to be thirsty who are running and we need you to give us water. If uh, Mr. Harmon, Mr. Raymond, Mr. Peters, and I are doing a relay and we need one more person to run with us, is there anyone who can run five or six miles that can commit, that's not doing track right now? See me uh, outside the quad. If I don't see you after um, this break, I'm going to give it to some random guy that really wants your spot. So find me immediately. Uh, Third, the third thing is Bike to York Day is coming up. We pick a day, it's May 12th, it's the whole county is riding to work and riding to school, riding bikes. May 12th, we're gonna be doing the same thing. Mr. Raymond's gonna be riding from Pacific Grove. I'm gonna be riding from Marina. We need someone else who may be riding from Salinas and then we all gather here and have breakfast. So uh, keep, keep an eye on the blog for signing up for that. I don't have it up yet, but I will put it up later. So, three things, speech day, marathon, bike to York day. All right, you guys keep your nice shorts. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so Monday when we come back, um, we're gonna have an Easter egg hunt during lunch, and so we're gonna put out a like, third period, so if you have a third period free, don't take them until lunch, and if you're gonna participate, go get all the eggs, so just be aware of that. And then also softball, we have IDs from our bake sale, and we really want the money back because we want our sweatshirts, so give it to anybody in the softball team. Um, if you can't make it to the if you can't make it to the fundraiser, Ms. Traxel mentioned on Saturday, um, on Monday, Asian Club and Key Club will be having a food sale. So all the proceeds are going to the American Red Cross in Japan. Um, we'll have a lot of Asian food like Korean barbecue, kimchi, sushi, um, chowmin, fried rice, and more. And we'll also have baked goods. Also, uh, <laughs> check your emails for the big stuff. Alright, thank you to those who supported and helped us for the ice cream sale for the sophomores. Um, since we don't have time to name the IOUs, for people who do remember, um, uh, for IOUs, please give it to me, Mateo, Molly, Christina, Cobb, or Natasha this week. And during the next break day, we'll name the IOUs. people. It's like 30 people. It's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to collect donations to send to the troops in Afghanistan. So there's a box in the main office, and I have a long list of things that you can bring, and you can just look at it and read it for yourself. But it's basically food stuff that is individually wrapped and doesn't melt very easily, and paperback books and stuff. And it's really important to help support them because it makes them feel better while they're at war. And there are a lot of people who are about our age, like 19 and 20, and it helps to support them. Please donate. Thank you. For everyone that volunteered at the York Gala, there is going to be a pizza party next Tuesday, a C Day, um, in Room 9. So if you just um, go tell the development office, anyone in there, that, um, that you're going to come, and then that's it. So Room 9, um, Tuesday, C Day. Thanks. Uh, so, um, you guys may have noticed there's like some giant coolers full of juice in the breezeway. Those are for people who are fasting. So if you're not fasting, please don't drink out of it. If you are fasting, please drink out of it. I don't want anyone to faint. Yeah. That would be sad. Be nice to those people who are fasting. We're on like our 16th hour and it's starting to be difficult. <laughs> At lunch, you can join us in room three as we make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and torture ourselves. But the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches <laughs> are going to the homeless, so it's a really good cause. Yeah. And after school, we're going to be like watching documentaries and stuff. You can join us again in, in room three, in room um, three. around three thirty. And we have another project we're doing that involves a lot of paper and staples. So if you want to get your rage out by going like this a lot, then you're good. Okay. Back at Madison.
manuscript is getting done this weekend, so get your submissions in by the end of the day in the box, or you can email to yorkschoollitmag at gmail.com, all one word. Wow. Oh,